Well, hello there, everybody, and good morning. This is your old pal, Chucky Bear, coming at you. And forgive it, uh, my disheveledness, it's laundry day. If you hear a buzzer in the background, that's what that is, and it's why I'm wearing the concert t-shirt. Any who's will be, going to jump right into Ezra 7. Well, maybe not jump right in. I do want to point something out. And this is just one of those things that um, in these ancient texts, the way they were written, who they were written by, the styles, the sophistication or lack thereof, and, and most importantly, what the authors didn't even have to think about because of cultural mindset, they just wrote knowing uh, how the audience would respond. Uh, very much how writers today write certain things um, without even really thinking about it because they know what their audience will like. They know what they like. Uh, what they're used to is what their audience is used to, but it's not what we're used to. For example, we're used to kind of having in the text something indicating that 80 years just went by. But lo and behold, uh, somewhere between the end of chapter 6 uh, and the beginning of Ezra chapter 7, 80 years has gone by. In fact, you know, uh, old Chucky Bear, I, I, I got to look into things from time to time. I, I, I don't know everything. Uh, so I, I think actually 80 years goes by like in verse 14 of chapter 6. But maybe it is between 6 and 7. I don't know. But regardless, chapter 7 is about 80 years um, <clears throat> after the major events of the last one. And what's interesting about that is if you wanted to read these texts strictly chronological, um, which they're rarely presented in, it actually would go um, Ezra chapter 1 through 6, and then, well, there's a psalm that, that you can throw in there, 137. But Haggai one, uh, chapters 1 and 2, and Zechariah chapters 1 through 14, and wait for this, ready? Esther. Oh, one of my favorite books, 1 through 10. All three of those books, and Psalm 137, um, or sections of books, whatever, can, can technically be fit between Ezra chapter 6 and 7, because it's like 80 years. So Haggai 1 through 2, Zechariah 1 through 14, and Esther 1, 1 through 10 have transpired since the last video. Kind of weird, right? It's it's kind of like um it's kind of like uh the movie um Rogue One not really uh, maybe like Solo maybe not um uh, but you know it's like it's it's there's spinoffs you know it's it's not prequel necessarily um nor is it a sequel it's like what's going on in tandem okay all right we're already at minute three I gotta get going here all right Ezra seven Ezra's coming to Jerusalem. After these things, during the reign of Artaxerxes, I practiced his name overnight, uh, Artaxerxes, king of Pre Persia, uh, I almost said king of Prussia, <laughs> okay, chapter 7, after these things, during the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, <laughs> Ezra, son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalam, and the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitab, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Mer Merioth, the son of Z Zerahiah, the son of Uzai, the son of Bukai, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra, that one. Do I need to repeat which Ezra? No, let's move on. This Ezra came up from Babylon. So a direct descendant of Aaron. I don't mean to chop in here, but um, genealogies seem so boring. They're actually really cool, and I can't wait to start putting them in the charts section. Anyway, oh, Michael Heiser is the man, by the way, when it comes to, like genealogies. Okay, okay, back to the text. <coughs> Excuse me. Ezra came up from Babylon. He was a teacher well-versed in the law of Moses, which the Lord, the God of Israel, had given. The king had granted him everything he asked. Uh, for the hand of the Lord, his God, was on him. Some of the Israelites, including priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, and temple servants, also came up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of King Artaxerxes. Ezra arrived in Jerusalem in the fifth month of the seventh year of the king. 
He had begun his journey from Babylon on the first day of the first month, and he arrived in Jerusalem on the first day of the fifth month. Whoo! That's a road trip. For the gracious hand of God was on him. For Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord, and to teaching its decree and laws in Israel. This is a copy of the letter King Artaxerxes had given to Ezra the priest and teacher, a man learned in matters concerning the commands and decrees of the Lord for Israel. Wow, we actually have a copy of the letter. That's really neat. Artaxerxes, King of Kings. To Ezra the priest, a teacher of the law of the God of heaven, greetings. Now I decree that any of the Israelites in my kingdom include priests and Levites who wish to go to Jerusalem with you, they may go. You are sent by the king and his seven advisors to inquire about Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of your God, which is in your hand. Moreover, you are to take with you the silver and the gold that the king and his advisors have freely given to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem, together with all the silver and gold you may obtain from the province of Babylon, as well as the freewill offerings of the people and priests for the temple of their God in Jerusalem. With this money, be sure to buy bulls, rams, and male lambs. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Together with the grain offerings and drink offerings and sacrifice them on the altar of the temple of your God in Jerusalem. And tell him, our Xerxes says, Sup! You and your brother Jews may then do whatever seems best with the rest of the silver and gold in accordance with the will of your God. Deliver to the God of Jerusalem all the articles entrusted to you for worship in the temple of your God and anything else needed for the temple of your God that you may have occasion to supply. You may provide from the royal treasury. Yes, that's right. Anything from the royal treasury. But not this shirt, because this goes back to like 97. Yeah, vintage. Love my concert shirt. Anyway, now I, King Artaxerxes, order all the treasures of the trans Euphrates to provide with diligence whatever Ezra the priest, a teacher of the law of God of heaven, may ask of you. Up to a hundred talents of silver, a hundred cores of wheat, and a hundred baths of wine, a hundred baths of olive oil and salt without limit. Whatever the God of heaven has prescribed, let it be done with diligence for the temple of the God of heaven. Why should there be wrath against the realm of the king? That's me and his sons. That's them. You are also to know that you have no authority to impose taxes, tribute, or duty on any of the priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, temple servants, or other workers at this house of God. Wow. And you, Ezra. <laughs> In accordance with the wisdom of your God, which you possess, appoint magistrate. Oh, okay, well, let me start over. Verse 25. And you, Ezra, <laughs> Ezra, I'm talking to you, buddy. In accordance with the wisdom of your God, which you possess, appoint magistrates and judges to administer justice to all the people of the Trans Euphrates, all who know the laws of your God. And you are to teach any who do not know them. Whoever does not obey the law of your God and the law of the king must surely be punished by death, banishment, confiscation of property, or imprisonment. Praise be to the Lord, the God of our fathers, who has put it into the king's heart. That's me. That's my heart. To bring honor to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem in this way. And who has extended his good favor to me before the king and his advisors and all the king's powerful officials. Because the hand of the Lord, my God, is, was on me. I took courage and gathered leading men from Israel to go up with me. Oh, 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 okay. I messed all that up. From the line, praise be to the Lord, the God of our fathers. Ezra's talking. The letter was over. Um, which it was only like two sentences ago. But, yeah. I was reading it still in the tone of Ezra. Oh, my gosh. Where has the time gone? We're at 9 minutes and 24 seconds. I need to hurry up. Okay. It cannot be understated, and I need to do something, article, a whole blog or something. This Artaxerxes letter is amazing. Hey, hey, it doesn't matter. You know, like, I'm just going to point out historicity. Again, your beliefs, conclusions, just put it aside. We're talking Star Wars, Harry Potter here, all right? I'm sorry if that's offensive or annoying, but just suspend disbelief. This, this is amazing. 
I'm so bummed I didn't leave time for myself to talk about it. I love you all. Bark.